Hi, this is Srinivas. In today's video, we are going to focus on Vault tool. Vault is one of the most important tool in the case of microservices and uh, Spring Boot application development. Whenever you deal with microservices and Spring Boot development, this Vault is very very helpful for us. The main motto of Vault is if you want to if you want to encrypt some sort of data or if you want to encrypt your passwords or if you want to encrypt your API tokens or if you want to encrypt some sort of configuration files. In these cases, differently, uh, Vault is very very helpful for us. And we are using Vault in the case of DevOps and we are going to use this Vault in the case of microservices development also. Today we are going to see how to install Vault and how to enable the Vault server and how to test whether it is working properly or not. Right? Now, let me open my browser and this is my browser and let me search for Vault here. I went to Vault here and this is the official page of Vault. Let me go here. And after opening this page, uh, when I, whenever I open this page, you can see here download section and you can also see some use cases also. Based on your requirement, if you want to go through the use cases, you can go through the use cases also. It is up to you. When I click on these use cases, you can see multiple options over here. Now on the right hand side, you can see download section also. Now let me click on download. Yeah. See, uh, what supports all these types of operating systems? All these platforms are supported here. Right? Now, as my laptop is 32 bit operating system and it is in, as it is on Windows, you can see here Windows. And let me click on the drop down list and let me select 32 bit. Right? And just click on download. Then automatically a zip file will be downloaded. Now, in my case, what I had done is I had downloaded this software and I kept in a separate location. And let me open my software folder here. And this is my what? And let me open command prompt from here. And this is command prompt. And you can see one file here. You will see one exe file with the name what? Right? Now, what comes in two flavors? One is evaluation version and one is enterprise edition. Now, currently we had downloaded an evaluation version. If you want to move to the enterprise edition, we need to purchase the product and we need to get some license also. When it comes to the reality or when it comes to the real time, for sure we need to focus on enterprise edition of Vault. Right? As this is a as this is a small demo, I am going to use evaluation version for this demonstration. Right? Now let me start my Vault now. If you want to start your Vault, just issue the command Vault Server space hyphen dev i am starting my wall server in the form of dev environment right now let me press enter now it is able to start here and you can see my server started now now let me scroll up again and if you scroll up here right you can see some data here you can see some sensitive information over here you can see the unsealed token you can also see the root token also right this will vary from people to people don't think this is fixed some people will see a different token and some people will see uh, a different key also you can see the key part here and you can also see the token and you can also see api address over here and you can also see cluster address also here right now as per this instruction you can see there they are asking us to set the what address right let me copy this. Let me mark this. Let me copy this one and let me press it. And first of all, let me shut down this server. I am pressing Ctrl C button. Now, let me copy the same command here and let me press it. Right? Let me clear my screen and let me restart my server again. Right now, let me go to my browser, and if you see here, uh, if you see this screen here, you can see the API address of your user interface. Your user interface IP address you can see here. HTTP 107.0.0.1 colon 8200 indicates that this is the user interface of what. Now let me go to my Chrome, and let me open localhost. Sorry, not localhost here. 127.0.0.1820. Now let me press enter. See, 
it is trying to start your work and you can see here right you work user interface was successfully opened here now let me click on status and you can see it is in green color right if it is in red color means that indicates there is something wrong with this now if you want to log into this vault user interface you can see multiple ways here whenever i click on method you can see token username ldap octa all these are different different ways of ways to log in into your vault any approach you can follow right now let me go to token here i am selecting token over here right now let me go back to my console and if you go to the console you can see your unsealed token you can also see the root token also right now let me right click here and let me select this and let me copy the unsealed token here right let me copy this and let me provide the same in the case of token text file right now let me try to click on sign up and if you see here guys you are getting authentication failed permission right means there is something wrong with this now, let me go to console again let me try with root also root token also let me try let me make a try again just uh, let me select this and let me copy this and let me set it yes success means initially whenever you want to log in into this vault you are you need to use this root token right we will have two set of tokens we need to use the root token to log into your screen and keep in your mind guys you should be a root administrator only root administrators will know this root token if you are a developer or if you are a reporter or if you are a uh, functional consultant right you may not be aware of all these tokens you should be a root administrator or you should be an administrator of this vault server right let me go back to the console and you can see here you can see multiple drop down is here you can see secret you can see access you can see policies you can see tools also multiple options we are having right and when you compare the same evaluation version with the enterprise version you may see so many uh, so many uh, widgets there right you may see some other menus also and you may see more, multiple number of options there but currently as it is a evaluation version you will see multiple you will not see sorry you will not see multiple options here you will see limited options here now on the right hand side you can also see if you want to issue any command you can also issue the command from the console here you can see all the console part on the right hand side and you can see your profile on the right hand side if you click on the right hand side you can see here currently you are you have logged it as root user that's why you will see it as a root here let me go back to secret now let me try to create a secret now now if you want to create a secret just click on secret you can see four menus here secret tool access policies tools now let me click on secrets and under the on the right hand side you can see enable new engine now let me click on plus symbol and whenever you click on plus you can see multiple options right if you want to uh, enable this vault server right you can use any of these approaches either on aws or either on azure or either on google cloud or you can use kms key management services anything you can use now in our demonstration let's see kv k stands for key v for value now let me select kv let me select this and let me scroll to the bottom and let me click on next right and let me click on enable intel right now our engine got initiated here right now i want to save some sort of secret here now on the right hand side you can see create secret now let me click on create secret you can see the plus symbol over there let me click on plus and it will prompt for path for this secret right now let me write it like this srini secret i give some name like this right any name you can provide you should have two set of parameters first parameter 
followed by forward slash, followed by second parameter. It can be anything. And you can see how many versions of your secret you want to maintain. I will make it as three. Let me remove this three here. Sorry. Sorry. I want to make it as 13, not 3, 13. Now let me scroll to the bottom and you can see here which data you want to store. Right? Let me take my MySQL underscore username. My username is root. Click on add and MySQL password. Let me write here my password. This is my password. Now let me click on save here. Right? Now your data is encrypted and you can see here. Right? It is in encrypted format. And if you want to view this one, you can see here a small button here. Let me click on this. See? You can see the plain text now. Now when I click on this button, you will see something with some dots here. Right? Now, I was able to create an engine and after creating an engine, I was able to inject one secret. The name of my secret is Srini. Under that, you can see multiple keys. You can create as many keys as you can. Now, let me click on secrets. And you can see now, when I click on secrets, you can see your KV also. Right? Now, let me click on KV again. See? You can see Srini. Name of your secret is Srini. Under Srini secret under secret you can see your data here right now as we are working on evaluation version by default what will store all your secrets on your hard disk you need to know where it is going to store it will store everything on your local hard disk code now the location is just go to your c drive users Go to go to your profile and you can see here it will store some data in some file with the name dot vault. Now let me try to open this with notepad plus plus. You can see some token here. Your root token you can see here and it will store some data in your local machine. Right? You can see here it's storing something here with what and some data will be hidden now. Right? Now, don't forget this option here. Right? It will it will create or it will store everything in your vault file. Dot vault file. Right? Now, in this way, we can start our vault server, and in this way, we can start our own secret. We can add as many keys as we can. Right? In my next video, I am going to demonstrate how to integrate this vault server with Spring Boot application. How to design a Spring Boot, Spring Boot application with Vault, we will see. Let us integrate one Vault related secret with the help of Spring. By default, Spring Boot supports Vault. We need to add Vault dependencies in the case of Pomplet and Summer. And we need to follow few steps to work on, uh, to complete everything. Right? Now, that's all for this. That's all for mine. I hope you guys got some basic idea about the installation part of Vault. Right? Keep on watching. If you like my video, please subscribe. Thank you.